Hi, thank you. It's just a bad day um, for having uh, us on today to talk about psoriatic arthritis awareness day. I'm Dr. Madeline Feldman, a, a practicing rheumatologist in New Orleans, and I'm with Christina, a patient who has um, psoriatic arthritis. So let's start off with a couple questions. Um, first off, let's talk a little bit about psoriatic arthritis. It is a form of arthritis that is caused by the immune system, so it is under the category of inflammatory arthritis, although there are a hundred other kinds of arthritis. This one has some specific factors, signs, symptoms that are unique to it. First of all, the name psoriatic arthritis implies that psoriasis is part of the disease, and yes it is, but not in all patients. Some of the main factors we see are swollen, tender, and stiff joints, predominantly in the morning. It can be the fingers and the toes, or it could be your low back. Another sign that's uh, unique to psoriatic arthritis are uh, nail pits, and that's where it looks as though your fingernails have been dented with a safety pin, and it creates little pits in your nails. Of course, tendinitis is a common factor with psoriatic arthritis, predominantly in the feet. We see recurrent Achilles tendinitis and then psoriasis. If you have psoriasis or even a family member has psoriasis, that may be a risk factor for developing psoriatic arthritis. What is the typical psoriatic arthritis diagnosis story that you see? I would say the typical uh, patient that comes to see me is one that usually has been diagnosed with psoriasis first and has been sent to me by a dermatologist because the patient is now developing joint symptoms or self-referred a patient with psoriasis who has started developing symptoms and may know something about psoriatic arthritis. I think the key is most people don't know that it even exists so they don't even know that they're supposed to go to a, um, a rheumatologist. So lots of stiffness in the morning, again, usually fingers, toes, or the low back, the nail pits, the general feeling of fatigue, those are some of the presenting symptoms. Those are the stories that I hear when a patient presents with um, psoriatic arthritis. When you first give someone a psoriatic arthritis diagnosis, do you point them to any specific resources? Well, we have a resource now called uh, gopsaday.com. It uh, talks about some of these symptoms. It also is, uh, shows links to resources for patients who are worried about having it or that have been diagnosed. And it helps patients develop some questions when they come in to see me. You know, they see the rheumatologist on a fairly regular basis when they're under treatment, and oftentimes they don't know what to say or what kinds of things to remind me of. Sometimes it could be side effects from medicine. Sometimes it could be a new symptom. So these are the kinds of things that gopsaday.com can help you with, and it is a good resource for patients newly diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis. As a PSA patient, how can we better have a relationship with our doctors, and is there anything we can do to make your lives easier? You know, this is a, a relationship that you're going to have with a rheumatologist. It may be a long-term relationship, so finding a rheumatologist that you trust, finding a rheumatologist that you can work um, as a team with, make decisions that are uh, in your best interest, that you feel are in your best interest. If you're having any problems, don't hide them away. Call your rheumatologist, discuss them. If, you, if there's something that you don't like that we say, let us know. Because as I said, this is a long-term relationship and we're here to help you get better, prevent some of the consequences of, of not having treatment. If you're not treated early, sometimes psoriatic arthritis can destroy the joints. So my goal is to not only relieve your pain and stiffness and swelling, but to make sure that 10 years from now you're as functional, if not better, than you are now. So creating a good relationship and honesty and trust with your rheumatologist is my best advice. Okay, so a few questions for Christine. Um, when did you first think something was wrong? I first, I knew something was wrong when I wasn't feeling 100%, particularly with waking up in the morning with stiffness in my lower back and also just difficulty getting out of bed. It just took me almost one hour just to get out of bed. Then also difficulty getting 
ready to go to work, um, washing up and, and getting dressed. That proved to be very challenging and exhausting. And I'm a very active person, and even taking a walk to the corner store was proven to be very exhausting as well. And I noticed a change in my fingernails, the pitted nails, and those were the signs that they were telling me that something was wrong and I needed to see a doctor right away. And I am very lucky I found a rheumatologist who is great. We work together as a team. My doctor listens to me and I listen to my doctor. So it's a both learning experience and as Dr. Sullivan said, it's a long-term partnership because this disease is stays with you forever. So working with my rheumatologist, we were able to define a great treatment plan, but I also had to change my lifestyle as well, my diet and my exercise habits. So it's important to remember that PSA doesn't define you. What is one way you don't let it define you and you continue to live your life? Having a chronic disease like psoriatic arthritis is not you. I, I have to say being diagnosed was good news for me because it would enable me to have a more positive outlook on life and also to pursue activities that I never thought I can do, like swimming. Uh, once I was diagnosed, I decided to take swimming lessons because if I need to control my psoriatic arthritis, I needed to do something to stay fit and to stay active. And swimming is the best exercise for me. It's low impact and it keeps me challenged and it keeps me alert. And it's the best thing. And it, it keeps me active as well. I have to say I am 100% happy now than I was nine years ago when I was first diagnosed with psoriatic, psoriatic arthritis. And my goal is to live every day to the fullest and not let this disease take over me. That's the key thing. That's, that's great advice, Christine. Um, we want to thank National Psoriasis Foundation and Celgene for teaming up together to create this first ever Psoriatic Arthritis Awareness Day. The website, gopsaday.com, and uh, helping us to uh, engender awareness um, in the local community and nationwide as well. And thank you, it's just a bad day for uh, helping us achieve that goal. Thank you.